with the bet, I'm sure she will be made to bet at number eight, number nine. Yeah, and I don't think they will change their betting lineup as we saw Amy Hunter and Gabby Lewis having that stand of Hunter. strike when they get to bat but Gabby Lewis now very very experienced and she's got a hundred oh, that is far too short so that has been hit into the gap and that should be the first boundary of this innings Larry just a little bit too short there and you would expect Amy Hunter to really jump onto that And uh, that surely was the commentator's curse from Larry. Um, after those two great deliveries, a full toss and given the treat. She will be 16 as well. So it will be a good experience for them. Great shot there by Emmy Hunter. It runs all the way to the boundary. It will be four more runs on the scoreboard for Ireland. Bringing the total to 37 for no loss. You need to try and get her on the front foot. Try to get her to drive. Oh my word, that is a full toss and it's gone all the way for six. So Christina Mtasa here, straying in terms of length, it goes as a full toss. As effective as we know she can be, she would have loved out of that shot, but good fielding. And that one will definitely go for four. And once again, Kelis Nglovo needs to be more disciplined. He may be a widest third man, you would say. Just trying to protect that particular area. In the air, well over cover and into the boundary for four. And Gabby Lewis now moves over to 20. And once again, another loose delivery from Kelis Nglovo, given the treatment that it deserves straying down the leg side and a slog sweep by gabby lewis taking so pitch it outside the off stump to try and get it to come back in as long as it starts as long as it starts on middle or leg it is going to go wide and that one is basically edged in between point third man with the first T20 game that was played on the 26th of January, Ireland won that one by 57 runs. And we are in the second T20 game, the Lady Chevrons taking on Ireland. Earlier on, Zimbabwe won the toss and elected to have a ball. Ireland are on 75 for no loss in the... Tuna, 24 matches, the best of 4 for 11. That one's heaved over. The bowler makes it well to the, to the boundary. Just a bit short there. Linda Wilhelma Berry, two matches, taking one weekend with the economy of just above four runs. And once again, Pierce is the fielding area. Precious Marange just came past Precious Marange there. Disappointed with that effort. Gabby Lewis and Amy Hunter reverse shot there by Gabby Lewis and it races all the way to the boundary. It's going to be four more runs on the scoreboard for Ireland. And immediately responds with a big heave right over the cover region and ultimately for four. So this time round coming closer to all Prendergast, but she slams that one for a six. Oh, that's another good situation. Should have been stopped. That strategy will work, but it won't work because this time round, past the short fine leg and it goes for four. So, oh, that one sliced over point and that has gone for four as well. So, hoiked again for another boundary. So, the short deliveries are being dispatched by Prendergast and she... Oh, and there we go. 
commentator's blessing or curse. <laughs> commentator's curse for... for, uh, for uh, Amy Hunter, that is a quick single. And that's a direct hit off her own bowling. That is... Who knows? Well struck there by Kelly Sinlovo over long on region all the way for six. It will be six more runs on the scoreboard for the Lady Chevrons. Wow, well struck there by Marianne. As it races all the way to the boundary, it will be four more runs on the scoreboard. Bring the total to three. Oh, skies that one. And Marian Musonda perishes whilst trying to take a risk. And that is the first wicket gone. And five overs done and dusted. So that's a beautifully picked up shot. A full toss dispatched into deep wicket, mid wicket area by. It's a big hit there. Makes it way all the way to the boundary from Pelagia Mijaji. And that was a really big hit. Well, the one we need. <laughs> and that one smart as it goes all the way for a six. Pelagium Jaji is, uh, is having a go here. As I said a little earlier, that uh, 21 highest did very little or no. Oh, lovely shot. She has to rush back in and she is gone. Oh, Pelajam Jaji, she just took off without calling there. And that sees her perish. She was now looking real good. A run that was far too. And that's exactly what I was talking about there. Chiedza Dururu opening up her stumps. And there we go. She's been bowled by Laura Delaney, the captain. Uh, Lauren Chuma is next to go. Some absolutely incredible bowling, some very disciplined bowling. Oh, wonderful. Just moved across her stumps and was able to just put that into the mid wicket region. And that goes 4 4. In the gap once again, that might just run away for 4. And it does. So a good couple of boundaries here by Kellis and Glovu. It takes her up to four. This time and round. Oh. with another boundary. Four boundaries in a row, taking her to 48. That's just absolute. Kellis goes again. And it's taken. Unfortunately, Kellis has to depart. Wicket number five for Zimbabwe has fallen down. Things not just. And driven down the ground again for the final ball of the inning. So it is 130. That is what Zimbabwe will finish off with. 134-8. And Ireland walk away with a com comfortable victory of 42 runs. 173 proving to be a little bit too difficult to get. And Laura Delaney, definitely a happy camper. Ireland now leading the series 2-0. Tando, where do you think Ireland actually uh, just bagged this match?